and thank you for joining us for this art spotlight from our permanent collection. Today we're going to be talking about this particular piece here, which is a really great piece to dissect and get more information on based on the tiniest of details. So I'll let you come a little bit closer and have a look. This painting is called Jane Eleanor Sherman Lacey and her son Edward. And we believe it's probably painted um, around 1860, most likely about 1857. So I want you to just take a look, um, observe in the painting the individuals present, what they're wearing, what their relationship is, and then also the details, the background, the furniture, and other items present in the painting. This was painted by Lily Martin Spencer, um, and she was very well known for her portraits. Uh, she um, often worked from um, photographs that um, were relatively new at the time, photography was, so she would work off of the photographs to create images this particular piece is very interesting for a number of reasons. I'd first like to draw your attention to the brooch that Jane is wearing. And as you see closer, there is actually an image within the brooch, um, and that is the image of her first child, um, who sadly passed away. So this is technically a, a mourning brooch um, that would, one would wear to remember a loved one. And so now we know that there was a sibling to her son, Edward, who's down below here in this lovely green outfit. But I want to draw your attention to some other jewelry pieces within this piece. So if you look at the rings that she is wearing, it's believed that these could be mourning rings. And we say this because the ring um, that is um, furthest away from her knuckle on her hand there is the same color just about of her son Edward's hair. Um, and so that tells us that that means that Edward, who is pictured with her, has also passed away. And that the other ring was most likely to signify her other child as well. So she has the two mourning rings for both of her children. Then we have the bracelet that Lacey is wearing. And that is also believed to be another piece of mourning jewelry. And the darker band was most likely made from hair. And then the center pieces would have the initials of the deceased. Um, and this particular one has the initial L for Lacey. So that tells us that Lacey has also passed. So what we're looking at is a mourning portrait where both mother and children have passed, and this is a way of remembering them, um, most likely commissioned by her husband. I'll also draw your attention to the lovely flower in the corner of the painting. Um, and this is also a significance to death in this case, where a fully bloomed rose that has slightly wilted um, signifies um, the passing of life too short. So, um, more clues that are given to us. Now the painter has taken great pains to create such fantastic detail, particularly in the lace that you can see Jane wearing, um, as well as the little lace collar on Edward's shirt. You can also see the details in the buttons and just the light shimmering off of the fabric of her gown. Exquisite detail in this painting. And because the painter has chosen to seat um, Lacey in a chair, this creates an intimacy between her and her son. You can see how their fingers are almost intertwined there. And he's got a little grasp on her um, finger of her left hand there, 
a loving gesture, but also she's kind of controlling him a little bit. If he were wiggling around like a child. Um, so you get that loving mother-son relationship in this, which is a testament to their love for one another as um, they are no longer with us. So really fantastic piece. And a show of how different items that you place in a painting can give you different ideas and help you understand a little bit more about what's happening within the piece. So I thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed this art spotlight and we'll see you next time.